I'm going to record this discretionary advisory. I feel like some of the frustrations I'm facing in my real life right now may have trickled into my reaction of this episode. So things that don't usually bother me that much previously have really been bugging me. So my reaction to some of the character decisions in particular in this episode are very enthusiastic. The little anger emotion was driving my control panel for most of it. So I apologize. Catch you guys. Hey there glow toads and jelly tarts, it is Oscar bringing you another video today. We are going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 2 Episode 9, Breathe, which is the final episode of Season 2. I am a bit apprehensive for this one because whilst Elijah was here she filmed her reaction and I could hear her like screaming and shouting in the other room. Obviously like not enough to hear spoilers of anything but the fact that she was screaming and shouting tells me that a lot happens probably in this episode. Last episode I had to go back and like rewatch it because it's been a hot minute and the way the episode ended off Callum was kind of like still battling inside himself around the whole dark magic thing. We obviously know that Soren has been told he can no longer walk. Claudia sort of like had a Harry Mary ran out and bumped into Ezrin who's riding that really cool Black Panther thing. There was just a lot going on. I'm interested to see where it goes from here. I feel like Callum's obviously going to come to come back to himself. Whether or not he's fully himself again is another thing entirely. We got to see him chat with his father. Whilst he was in there we saw that his father was chained to the throne. I still think something happened with his father. I think the king is inside the bird. Why were we showing that bloody two-headed snake so often? Why was Viren carrying it around so much? There's definitely something happened there that night. Either way I'm excited to see what is going on with this episode so uh, let's bring it up here it is and we're gonna clip play and get started. Let's go. I hope you know I never meant to hurt you or Callum. Thank you. I'll be safe. Oh, it's cool. Whatever it is, I want to pet one of them. That's fucking cool as shit. He's very trusting. Like, we know Claudia, we know that we probably can to some degree trust her, but I still wouldn't have. I'd have been like, absolutely not. I kind of have a way with animals. Mm, and vampires are actually pretty friendly. They like praise, compliments, and a friendly scratch under the chin every now and then. Hey, Cute. that's like me. <laughs> Oh, I trust him. Is something that you want very badly, but something or someone stands in your way. Uh, I, that little queen I girl. Problem getting some people to listen to me, to hear the importance of what I'm saying. It's, it's shit because actually Viren, like when he was trying to convince the council, had excellent points. But so did I can't remember. Was it Queen Amaya? I've gone that wrong. There's a lot of character names in this for me to remember. But she was absolutely like adamant. If it was me ruling a kingdom, I'd rather stand with all the other kingdoms around me united in one giant battle rather than having them all get picked off and then me at the end defenseless. The leaders of the other four human kingdoms. Then we will have to get their attention. Okay, we. I don't like that. I wonder then, is Viren going to become corrupted by this guy? So this guy, whatever he's doing to help Viren, I feel like it's a throwaway. As soon as he gets his hands on that staff, we're in trouble. I just worry. I wonder if Viren's going to have one of these character arcs where he is already tumbling down, but then he's going to have to like come back up again and remember and join the side of good once more. I found out something. My dad. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Yeah. My dad I'm fucked it. Insane, but when I was a kid, my mom and dad split up. I remember hearing them fight a lot at night after we went to bed. I don't know who your mother is. And then they told us mom was moving back to Del Bar. And my mom looked at my dad and she told me to stay. My brother and I needed each other. And then she left. Mm. Oh, is that bird gonna... That bird can talk to him and carry messages too, can't it? Ezrin, you don't just have a way with animals. You can talk to them, can't you? I need you to help me find something in the forest. If I can find milk fruit, maybe I can help Soren. The problem with that though is if you help your brother, your brother wants to kill them. Well, he d no, that's wrong. Uh, rephrase. Your father wants to kill them. Then he's going to have to make that choice between his father and the princess. Right now, he's like, oh, I don't have to make that choice. 
Viren is a very complicated character. I both like and dislike him. You know, he's one of those kinds of characters. Soren is a total himbo. Soren's one of my, I actually really like Soren. He's one of my favorite characters. Claudia, I'm so weary of. She's at risk of turning evil. The more and more the show goes on and the more and more I see elements to her, the more and more I'm like, did I read that wrong? Is the show just trying to throw me off? Maybe it's trying to circumvent a couple of tropes and maybe it'll do it really well, but I'll be distrustful until the last possible moment because it's me. You've got to stay with oh, me. Now you're, now you can't. Breathe. Ah, that's why it's called breathe. Callie, you need to breathe. Who's this? Oh, his mother. You just Hi. need to breathe, sweetie. I feel so overwhelmed with everything. Yeah. I have so many thoughts. Deep breath. Oh, Take a deep breath. I just want you to be okay again. What is this? Oh, what one is that? Is that Sky? Sometimes things can get so complicated. Let yourself breathe. Your spirit and your body can catch up with your mind. I just have to breathe? Good advice from mum. To know something truly and deeply, you must know it with your head, hand, and heart. I love you with all of myself. No. And I always will. How is that for a fucking punch in the tear ducts? And then it's honestly the correlation there of like his mother hugging him, Tarela hugging him is really, really, really cute. Callum, I, I. <gasps> what were you going to say there, huh? What was that? I, I what? That felt almost like a love confession. Like, I love you? Are we there already? Like, apart from like one or two little moments, I haven't really seen much in the way of either any emotions in terms of like these characters' relationship development. Now, don't get me wrong, there's been little hints, but for the most part, they've just seemed very steadfast friends. Maybe they'll develop it properly, maybe it'll become pretty reasonable and well explained, but right now, like, if she was going to say that, I don't see it. You need to involve me a lot more in those two romantically because I'm not there at all. And is that a twinkle in your eye? His face is back oh, to being... No, that's not a twinkle. It's one of those sleep crusties. Here, let me... No, let's not do that. I have it. You have what? I understand the sky or can. Ooh, was that what it was? So the one that was lighting up then was the sky arcane. So what, breathing techniques? This is where the squirrel said we should go. There, I see it. A milk fruit bush. Excellent, okay, the squirrel, that's cute. There's a family of deer here. I almost forgot how deer love milk fruit. Yes, yes they do. No, don't use any dark magic. You. I'm sorry if the things I did before were frightening or confusing. Dodge it, dodge it. Claudia, don't, 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 don't do it. 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 Please don't. Claudia, I get that you would do anything for your brother, but no, please. Every time I start to, to like you as a character, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe she's not that old. Nope, she's about to slaughter a whole fucking family of deer. The whole world is like a giant primal stone, and ah. we're inside it, but it's also in me. With every breath I take. That kind of makes sense. Kind of does, yes. yes. And, and, and I kept thinking about birds. And I thought I had to find my wings. I am the wing. That makes less sense. Yeah. <laughs> I love how me and Rayla are having exact same thoughts. Which is usual. Let's see if I can really do this. Mm -hmm. So can you do the, the, the ruin again, maybe? Come on, you've got this, buddy. You've got this, you've got this. Let's do it. It does work. Little face, Rin's little face. There it is. And then blow. Is it gonna be even more powerful now? Aspirin. Excellent, it is. It feels more powerful than the last time. Callum, you figured it out? You can do magic again. That's incredible, Prince Callum. Thanks. Who are you? This is exciting then, that opens up a whole world for Callum. So if he's connected with the Sky Rune, there's nothing stopping him from connecting with all the others. Do you know the funny thing was, Te? At the beginning of this episode, I was literally going to say how this whole book is called Sky. Why is it called Sky? Apart from like the dragons attacking out of the sky, what relation does this have to Sky? Now I get it, now I understand. I'm glad I didn't say that at the beginning, but to be honest, it would have been really funny. I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you. I, I tried to, but I just, Yeah, you've got 
got your brother. It's shit, but you've still got each other. Don't do it, Claudia. Please. Please look at them. They're so cute. No, please. 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 He's somebody that deeply loves Hamish, the channel mascot. Please don't do this. I'm sorry, little one. No. You are agile, young, and alive. And I need you. Don't do it, please. She did it. She did it. She did it. She did it. That looks like it's working. Oh, she, oh, oh, wait. Oh, what did that? <gasps> She's got like that white strand. I saw that just as she went full down, her hair turned white. I can move my toes. It worked. I can move my toes. <laughs> yeah. She's going to have the white strand. I can feel again. Oh, my strong, powerful thighs. <laughs> He's such a himbo. I love him so much. Oh, it's horrible. I can feel again. <laughs> it's horrible. I can feel. I love how he went from yeah, yeah, I can feel my toes to oh my god, I'm in so much pain. Ah, why? <laughs> that took a be better now. lot out of her. That's all that matters. Oh shit, that took a lot out of her though. What did that do to her? The thing is, we had like we saw when Callum did his dark magic, he kind of fell into himself and was like battling internally and stuff with things inside of himself. What about Claudia? Like what has Claudia been through? Like and it doing a piece of dark magic like that? What does that mean for her psyche? Like that's what's making me nervous. Everything's packed and everyone's healthy. And we're just a few sure? hours from the border of Zadia. A few hours, oh wow. Callum, when you told me assassins were coming for dad, I ran away and hid in the walls. And when I found out dad was gone forever, I, I ran, ran away, away again. again. Yeah. I've been running away from things my whole life but I can't run away from growing up. When you grow up, you have to face things you're not ready for. What are you saying, little Wait, man? what? Yeah, what are you saying? I'm not going with you to Zadia. What? Now that I'm king, I have to go home. Oh, fuck. Maybe I can help the world better from the throne. Dude, you're like a few hours away. She said to herself, you're a few hours away from Zadia. You, like, you could talk to animals. You could talk, well, the dragons. The queen of the dragons should be able to talk to them, right? But Zim and, like, Zim and everyday, like, you're the only one that can communicate with them. They need you. Like, I get what you're saying, but you're literally a few hours away. Just a few hours. One day. That's all it would take is just one day. And then you can go back. You'll find his mom. And Zim will take his place in Zadia. Just like I have to take mine. I'll travel with the king this, and keep him safe. This is going to make I things think. so much more complicated if they can't then talk to the queen. No, I hope she can speak. Edrin, you're taking a massive risk here. I'll miss you, Rayla. But I'll see you again. I promise. I love you. I love you too. Plus as well, if you're the king of the humans and you're returning it back to the mother and the queen sees that, any vendetta that she has, I mean, she won't be fully rectified, but if she understands that you're the new king and that's what you've done, then surely there's going to be, like, a bit of an understanding there. Ah, no, that's not good. That's not good. You could start an all-out war in the realm by doing this. There's only one that's defying you. The rest of them are all in agreement until she said no. So you realistically only have to send one. But I think this is a terrible idea and I think you're going to cause inner conflict in your own kingdom and I think that's exactly what he wants. Bring terror to Delvar, to Neolandia, to Ebony, and to Durin. Oh no, this is wrong. This is wrong and you know it. This canyon leads to the Moonstone Path. I can't believe we're almost to Zadia. Okay, that gotta be fucking hot though. You're not wearing the right armor. One simply walks into Zadia, huh? Hold on! Ah! Don't do that! A few will let us stand on them long enough to walk across. It's like a fucking video Those game. special stones are called the Moonstone Path. So, how do we know? Patience, friend. Wait for the moon. Need to wait for the moon. There we go. Ah, gotcha. Now, does it only work for as long as the moon is out? Well, they can only see the path for as long. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, see, that makes me nervous. I feel like at some point a cloud's going to cover the moon, they're not going to see where the path is, the stones are going to start sinking, and it's going to be a nightmare. Oh, 
the eyes, that's cool. Yeah, see, now you've just become his little sock puppet. Do we not see the problem here? You've become a little sock puppet. Not that I'm saying you should let yourself get erased. Oh my God, in his eyes. Yeah, see, see, there it goes. All oh, elements of magic, right? Am I right? Ooh, that was cool though. And there's a secret passage. Ah, there goes the bird. I still think that that is the king, if I'm being honest. You're completely surrounded, Viren. Don't make me give the order. Ooh. You have betrayed me. Oh god, that's creepy! Oh no! See, that's, 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 that's... Okay. Can we, can we hurry it along? Can we run a little faster? Because, like, there's clouds up there. So, um, how about you run a little quicker, huh? How about you go a little bit faster? Yeah, that's a bit right. I would have picked up the fucking little dragon, though. They're not going to realise until they're almost at the end of the path. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's caught up. Okay, that's not what it looked like in the last shot. Look, he's getting further and further back. And they're sprinting forward. So the fuck did he teleport? What's wrong? How can you hear him from? Oh, because you're connected. Ooh, so there's a connection, a proper connection being built. You need to block the light. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so that, that explains why when they were sleeping, they were tossing and turning and moving together. They have got that connection. They have established that. Excellent. Yeah, I love how that guy's just like, right, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna, I will fucking go with it then. I'll fucking go with it. How is he gonna block it? You're doing it! Yes, he's gonna try, but he's so widow. How does he do it? 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 How does he block it? Oh! There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, well done, guys. Well done. Okay. Now, how are you gonna block it? Ah, like that. Clever. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. King, King. Yeah, <laughs> that must have been so strange for him. He must have been like, okay, so this is a thing that we're doing right now. I don't really know what's happening or how I can help, but okay. It's the horn you cut off the dragon. Failed missions, mad dad. But dragon horn means magic. Maybe dad not mad. Dad in prison. Dad in prison. I totally missed that. I was clever. That was clever. I missed that. It's him. Soul dragon. Okay. And who's he? Who's he? Have we heard of him? We've probably heard of him, and I just don't remember. It'd be very helpful if you could have somebody who could. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Not play with them. Um. Not um. What sort of like? Oh yeah. Talk to them. It'd be super fucking helpful if you had somebody who could talk to them. Like I don't know. Maybe the guy that left just like a few fucking hours before he was ready to complete the mission. That was the end of season two. A lot of shit went down and he's setting a lot of shit up. So now we are in Zadia. So, okay, so book one was moon, book two was sky. What was book three going to be? Stars, earth, ocean? What were the other ones? There was a lot of air. There was a lot of sky related ones. Is it sun? Sun as well, is the other one? Maybe sun. Oh, it could be sun. It looked very deserty. So maybe next book is going to be sun. Because I think we saw it was the sun elves that were like just on the other side of the border, right? And hopefully we will finally get to meet the queen of the dragons. Maybe? Or maybe it's at Zadia, when she says Zadia, it's not as easy, like even when you get into Zadia, it doesn't then mean that you're at the Queen's door, the Queen of the Dragon's door. I really enjoyed that, hopefully you guys did as well, don't forget to thumbs up video, click subscribe to join me on the journey, and uh, yeah, if you want access to the full, raw, early, uncut version, including the 42 minute long, uncut version of this reaction, you can click the link in the video description down below, it will take you to my Patreon. I do have to say to you guys though, this is going to be where I'm going to pause this show, because it's not performing well on my channel, compared to my other 
shows because we've got Vox Machina coming out in October and Arcane coming out in November and I need the space to be able to go after those shows. This show is going to be on hiatus in my channel until much closer to the end of this year, maybe into the start of next year, we will see. Thanks very much for sticking by me with it and I'll see you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back guys.